Hello and welcome on the Polish Foodies YouTube channel. Today I want to show you one of the most popular Polish recipe uh, for kopytka, uh, which is also called the Polish, uh, Polish nochi. Um, this dish was uh, created out of the invention uh, of Polish housewives who had had leftover potatoes from the other day and they didn't want to serve the same add-on to the meat every day so that's why they came up with an idea to make kopytka all you need to do uh, is to make kopytka is to mix uh, boiled potatoes uh, flour and egg so it's super easy so let's start with uh, boiling the water add a bit of oil this uh, to make sure that the kopytka won't stick together and also a bit of salt and okay so I have here about two pounds of uh, boiled potatoes and uh, one cup of um, flour so let's start with putting some flour here you can either form kopytka in the bowl before or straight away uh, on the flat surface. So I will go the second way. And we are also adding one egg and flour. And right now you can form the dough. So it's totally up to you whether you are using the warm uh, potatoes or the cold ones. It's slightly better to form your kopytka when the dough is, uh, when potatoes are warm. But as I mentioned before, they can also be uh, cold. So we are forming the dough. Every potato is different. So you can't really tell how much you need. As you can see, my dough is kind of sticky, so I need to add some flour to this. Try to use as much potatoes as possible and don't use too many flour because it's all about the potato flavor. So. Yeah, let's form for a bit longer. Don't worry if there are some potato lumps in the dough. It's totally okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be delicious. So, yeah, I think that this dough is okay. Just give me a second to wash my hands because this is how they look right now. Okay, so my hands are clean now. So what we are doing is cutting the small piece of the dough. Rolling like that. So you can either make small or big Kopytka. The shape and size is totally up to you. Uh, and now you are cutting them into the smaller pieces like that. And throwing to the boiling water. So you may not realize that uh, this dough is exactly the same as you are using to make uh, knedle which are Polish potato dumplings. They are usually made with uh, uh, plums. However, what I have here are the frozen wild uh, blueberries. You just need to put any kind of fruit inside. It can also be an apple or anything, or strawberry. And you are wrapping it and forming a small bowl. So you can you can make two dishes out of uh, the same dough. So this would be knedle. And um, for kopytka, you can either serve it uh, 
uh, salty or sweet. So some people are uh, adding it to the meat or goulash or for example wheel. And the others, for example in my family, were eating it with breadcrumbs, butter and sugar. So we will also boil one knedle to show you how it looks. Okay, so uh, the water is already boiling, we, we may reduce the heat a bit. And now it's time to throw the kopytka to the pot. And they are sinking on the bottom right away. So to make sure that they won't stick to the bottom is you should very gently stir the water and when you know uh, how do you know that your kopitka are ready they will go to the top and you should wait for another two or three minutes until uh, when they are on the top to make sure that everything is uh, done so we have to wait for a bit Our kopitka has already been floating uh, on the top for about three minutes, so it's the right time to take them off. So they are a bit dry, just like that, so you should put the melted butter on the top, or maybe bacon, or lard. So yeah, and here is our knedel. So knedle are the best to serve with breadcrumbs, uh, sugar or sour cream. Uh, you can see the recipe for knedle and um, kopytka on our blog, so if you want them just check the links in the description down below. So maybe we should try them. I will show you how knedle looks inside. It's really delicious. If you put some sugar and the sugar is melting on the top with the butter, it's yummy. So let me try. It's probably hot. It's very good. Okay, so I will cook the remaining kopytka. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.